This is the never-ending story of the Yamaha Ojiwa. And this video is about how you can connect the Ojiwa to your computer. You need the Ojiwa, you need a computer, you need an interface, you need a lot of cables, and I will tell you more about that. When you want your Ojiwa to correspond with your computer, you need special cards that you can insert in the back of the Yamaha. There are four slots to do so. In this situation, I can connect 24 channels in and out with optical cables. This 24 channel setup was connected to a sound card like this. Now I'm making a 16 channel setup in slot 1 and 2. They are dedicated to tape on the Yamaha. The light bundle through the cable means it's the output of the ADAT and it has to be connected to the input of the sound card. In this situation we have two in and two outs. This card was made for a desktop, so when it's connected to the motherboard you can install the drivers. After Windows 7, this card is no longer supported by Steinberg. So this is a better option. 32 channels. One of my viewers pointed me out. And this is really something. You can make another setup. 8 channels analog and 8 channels digital. And to do so, I remove two digital cards from slot 1 and 3. And they will be replaced by an analog card with a connection only in slot 1. So it's dedicated to tape again. It would have been better if this was my first video about the Yamaha O2R. There were a few questions about this. The signal coming out from the Yamaha is going to the input of the interface. The signal that's coming out of the interface is going to the input of the Yamaha. When there is a little light shining through the cable, it's the output. All outputs are going to the inputs. With a USB cable, the interface is connected to the computer and I only have to connect the outputs of the interface to the O2R. And of course output number 8 is going in input number 8 output number 7, and input number 7, and so on. This is a Behringer interface, so I have to go to the side of Behringer and download the drivers for it, and install them. You also need a door, a digital audio workstation. In my situation it's Cubase. But you can also download Cakewalk, it will cost you nothing. It's made by BandLab. Creative Source is a YouTube channel and there is a lot of information you can find there about Cakewalk. Now I'm in Cubase and what I'm doing here you have to do in every door. You have to make your setup. you have to assign your interface. It's the FCA 1616 
from Berenger. And here it has to be assigned to. I've used this template in a 24 channel setup, so I have to remove a few channels. Now all the outputs are connected. 8 analog on line and 8 digital on ADET. If the guitar is at channel 1, vocals at channel 2, I can assign that here. On the O2R, I've created 8 stereo channels. So, on the faders 1 and 2, I have the guitars. 3 and 4 are the vocals. 5 and 6, horns, violins, organs. 7 and 8, the stems of something else. Under the faders 9 and 10 are the drums and the bass. And everything is bent hard left, hard right on the Yamaha. I have 5 stereo tracks to make my mix. And I have 6 faders left for other purposes. Here you can make a MIDI connection to your computer with a MIDI interface. The input of the interface is going in the output of the Yamaha. And the output of the interface is, I think, to MIDI through. And if you connect this to your computer, you can do some fader control in Pro Tools or something. Never use it. A little MIDI controller is much easier. There is one thing about this Behringer FCA 1616. It gives me digital clicks here and there. It's very annoying. So with this interface I don't use the ADAT. I only use analog. So I have 8 line in and 8 line out. The difference between this Behringer and my other sound cards that I can't set my 512 sample rate. It's for 80 or 576. If you want to mix in Dolby Atmos, you need 512 sample rate. And maybe this is the reason for the digital clicks. Or maybe not. I'm using only the analog channels. And it's a pity that this interface doesn't have an on and off switch. I'm using this one too, the Euphoria UMC 1820. It has 20 channels out. It's also made by Behringer. I've used this 16 channel RME sound card for a long time. And this is a Steinberg made by Yamaha, which I'm using on the DM2000 upstairs. 24 channels out. A wonderful interface. But if it breaks down, this will be my next choice. Thank you, Ivan.